Yeah, he wanted me to bring him in just to kind of get the preliminaries and why I asked him to join me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on in. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. My name is Vic A. La. <laughs> Private detective extraordinary. No way. No way. No way. No. I have been recently commissioned by Mr. Victor Locke to find out the who done it and the whys in the murder of the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> there was blood everywhere on the scene. With the Philadelphia Eagles laying the smackdown on the Cowboys. Oh my god. It was I'm loving painful. this already. Not the Cowboys fans. They weren't loving it. 34 to 6. And my first question was what were the weapons? <laughs> wait, wait. It's not man. You know what this is missing? Some smooth jazz in the background while <laughs> he investigates the scene. Uh, thank you for saying that. Go on, detective. I was about to one, say this also needs to be turned into black and white. The first one was Jalen Hurts, who went 14 to 20 with 202 yards. He got one pick but two touchdowns. And of course, Saquon Barkley. <laughs> that 357 Magnum himself. 14 carries for 66 yards. <laughs> and even Thank you. A. A. Brown, Thank you. five catches for 109 yards. How do you even get 109 yards out of five catches? <laughs> you know who you want to ask, Victor? He took a little page out of the book of MVS. Ah, <laughs> oh, MVS. We'll get to him later. He's probably a suspect too. But then I start looking around at other issues. I start looking around for maybe this being an inside job. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw that there were no real defenses around the Cowboys offense. <laughs> that looked just about as bad as the pasta sandwich. <laughs> Cooper Rush, 13 of 23 for only 45 yards. How do you only get 45 yards of 13 completions? It got so bad, they even took the leftovers of the 49ers and brought out Trey Lance. <laughs> they did. They did. Oh, my gosh. No doubt all. Didn't help much either. 12 carries for 53 yards. And then we got one of my prime suspects of who killed the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, no. Ezekiel Elliott. <laughs> who's whining so badly, he looks like Joel Embiid out there. Oh! 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 And with nothing to show Damn. Him, only six carries for 22 yards. Big wolf. He only got one yard more than his number on his jersey. <laughs> it's terrible out there. And I think I may have found a break in the case. A shadowy organization known as the Moronic Republic of Cowboys Nation. <laughs> Who are so stupid. That they still believe that they are them boys. We can go all the way to the head of the table. Who I believe the undisputed leader is 
Gerald Jack Daniel. <laughs> but he's insulated. If I'm not. There might be three individuals responsible for this. The first one is one that Vic refuses to call him by his name and has commissioned me to call him by the name of Pennywise. <laughs> now, Pennywise is an individual who will take his star at the time, running back and make him center, <laughs> only for him to also be my <clears throat> This man just said moited. But I got a second in command for this moronic republic. And he ain't really all that shadowy. He goes by the name. Wait, is this right? Well, you wrote this down. You tell me this is right, correct? All right, all right. He goes by the name of Tyrone Alize Mc. Dummy. <laughs> but they call him Tam. <coughs> oh my god. Who works as a hey, hey. Ain't nobody calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, are you still in? Now, I can't believe that he's a second no. man because there's no way someone that stupid could be part of a criminal organization. But I got my work cut out for me. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I'll be coming back after another Cowboys loss next week to the Houston Texans. And I'll be looking again to see if I can find out who is really behind the moida. Of the Dallas Cowboys. This has been yet another <laughs> Beating a Dead Horse presentation. That's my next case to find out who in the world would beat a horse to death. <laughs> you know what? Don't look at me over here. I didn't send the horse, I just sent the horse's head. Hey. I got nothing to do with a mighty. But I must say this. There's a personal reason it for me. Because I remember the Jimmy Johnson era. And when I see how the Cowboys were back then in the 90s, with Troy Aikman, Emmitt Smith, the playmaker Deion Sanders, and Michael Ivan, it brings a tear to me eye to see where the Cowboys are now. But that's all for me today. I'll be back next week. And hopefully, I'll have a break in the case. Vic A. Law, sign it out. <laughs> <laughs>